It's boiling. It's hot. I tell you one thing, Brandon, this cooler comes to the front. It's what, buddy? This cooler. Oh, that's the cooler? Yeah. 88 quart. Three compartments. Cutting board comes off it. Table down there. Oh, yeah, that's someone you were showing us. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I'm pretty. We left ice. Donnie and I. Come back this trip, it still had ice in there. Yep. Yeah. If that moose we see last year would have been a cow when we was floating on that river, we'd still be there. We was nine and a half miles from the truck, floating. The moose stands up 20 yards in the swale. Bobby hauls up shooting thing. I'm hollering at him, no, no, don't shoot. It was just a little tiny spike ball. Uh, but that would have been really bad if we had killed. We had a two and a half horse out boy with four of us. And how the way he's going to get that moose back to the truck? <laughs> It's still before sunrise in the morning. And Brandon's climbing on the roof to get a measurement of the rafter length and also the angle where the two different roofs come together. So I can run out to the Amish and get us a metal roof. I got 188 on the rafter. Make it 191. Just three inches? That's what I'd go to. Uh, okay. Because I'm pretty sure that paint, when that pan lays in there, Joe, I think we're going to gain like another inch or so. Okay. 191, we're going to go. So what about the short rafter? This one we can't. Do. Got it. 564, Joe. Okay. Ready for a pencil? Yep. I'd like to see it. Right. <laughs> oh, good hand. I can't believe I caught. Off the belt. <laughs> She's foggy one this morning. Foggy and dusty. I've been on the road a little bit over an hour now. Got a pretty good head start this morning. I'm heading down to get the rest of the metal for our roof now that we know what the length and the pitch and the dimensions are for the the lower side of that roof. So couple hour drive I'm gonna show up the Amish before they open hopefully they can get me right through they kind of said that they could put a little rush on it today because Brandon and Doobie gonna take off sometime midday tomorrow so hopefully we can get a rush on that and I am able to turn around with a load of roofing metal roofing before noon and then I'll be back in. I hate to not be in there while the guys are working. I love working on that camp and that cabin. But hopefully they get a bunch done. Hopefully I'm able to get my job done out here and uh, get back in there as quick as I can so we can get this done this weekend. But uh, weather tight. The boys are finishing up framing in the gable wall and hanging the gable overhang, and also gonna trim that out at the same time. It's kind of slow work, but it's work that needs to get done, and they're tackling it in a really good manner. Meanwhile, about a two and a half hour ride, and I arrived at the Amish where they're making metal roofing in Smyrna, Maine. It's called Kaufman Metals. They do a, one heck of a good job and real decent price. We. Did the one side yesterday and this side we had to figure out after we hung our rafters and got everything together so i go in and the they already knew we were coming and knew that we were in a little bit of a pinch for time so they said they could work on it while i wait All right, really good news, guys. He said he thinks he can get that cut right out in about an hour. So we're gonna, first things first, I, I gotta go get to Cedar. <coughs> That'll probably take close to an hour to do. And then I'm gonna try to pick the boys up some Amish donuts here. The glazed donuts were pretty fantastic. And then look at the store for some uh, metal piping and stuff.
just the wide ones. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll just I'll just stack these outside. Yeah. Here. Next one. Donnie's building the gable overhangs that we haven't already assembled. He's assembling these out of some of the only lumber that we bought for this job. We figured it'd be a lot lighter and a lot easier to handle and hang with the kiln dried stuff. So we bought some two by fours for this and he's making those. They'll be light sturdy and of course it'll be made perfect since Donnie's making it. Now it's time to prep the metal roofing. We've found over the years that it's way easier and it looks a lot better to pre-drill your holes. So that way they all line up on the roof and, and they look good that way and it's a lot easier than the self-tapping ones that sometimes tap easy and sometimes do not tap easy for when you're on the roof. So the boys are gonna stack all the roof panels together and drill them all at once with a marked out pattern and it'll look a lot nicer and be a lot more efficient for the mounting process. Yeah. Your end good? Looks good, yep. Yeah. We'll lay these out however you want them screwed, Donnie. Huh? I said we'll lay these out however you want them screwed. No, I don't know. I've never done metal so we'll right. put them on the way you put them on. Well, we'll bullshit you to the way we want to yeah. be. Yeah. I don't believe you. Huh? That's what I'd go, yeah. We got one more sheet, Adam. <laughs> You're going to hold like... Shouldn't even have to drill that top course. Oh, yeah, start two feet from the top. Yeah. Because we got to drill the cap in from the top there on the last row, right? Now our first one's on the bottom, ain't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Big square. Like a T square? Uh, the, like a drywall square, pretty much. Yeah. You don't really need it, I guess. But... Right here in this box. Oh, 
Some of these are quite When you're metal roofing, the first piece is by far the most important like piece. And half, it has to be square right? and in line with the eave or the gable overhang Try that. to come out right at the other end. If you're just a quarter or a half inch off to start, it'll add five to six inches off at the end and you're fighting it and the, the bottom pieces will never line up. So the first piece is always the most important and usually takes the most amount of time to get it lined up just right. Does it look good coming up that e-board, Sean? Huh? Does it look good coming up that e-board? You gotta go off. It can come out. It's turned out towards that way. Yeah, it bows in the middle. Like the are in that way. You want it flush? Yeah, it's it's overhanging big time now. You want it flush the whole way? I thought we did, but I don't really know. It's, it's, it's in a little bit on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. We got halfway across and we ended up ripping it all off, started over. <laughs> We're going to be installing a wood stove in this camp. So the stove pipe needs to go out near the peak and in between the rafters. That has to be installed now. And we have a roof kit that will go through the metal roofing and also support the chimney pipe. Might need a hand, Steve. Yeah, we'll need that little crescent wrench to put uh, that piece of metal, Donnie. Uh, got this.
Yellow. Oh, Jesus. Let it go. Let it go. Orange. Red. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so I finally made it back, and it's time to board up the south facing roof. So that way we can run our new metal roofing over it. Twenty-three and a half, two of them. Both sides or finishers? Can I finish it? This is your One more star. Yeah, got one right here. 123 and a half growth right here. Okay. I'll put an X on the side of the cut. Yeah. Uh, tell me when you're getting low on these 8 inch boards. I didn't know what you wanted me to use. I just figured if we got a ton of them, we'll use them. Why not? We're going to use everything. As long as they're all the same for you, that's all that matters. You want both of them. Both. Same time. Both. Yeah, you want some more. No moves, Ronnie. Good one. Uh, 100 yards back, Brandon Scamper. Oh, really? Yeah. Cow acted like she never had legs before. Huh. No We need a battery? Yep. 6, 8, 12 right here. What do you want? Go! Go! Two at 43 and a half. You want to cut Want me to catch you? What's up, buddy? Want me to catch you? If I fall. Oh, 
side. Yeah. Rim up powder. Sure. Good one. Adobe. You got a pack of staples or no? Anybody know what the staples are? Right in the window, so. Yeah. This last one on. Oh, oh yeah. Good, Joe. Uh, yeah, yeah, looks good, Stevie. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Hey, Joe. Joe, can I hand this roll down? I, I need a piece of. Oh. Shit, going now. Buddy. Yeah. You'll see where I slid it. I need it cut right in half. You know what I mean? Like two 14, 15 foot pieces. I need a strip now. Let's rip it. I knew you could roll all this time, Stevie. What's that? I said, I knew you could roll all this time. You hold no on us. It was Donnie. <laughs> Look how good Donnie did. <laughs> 150? 150? Yep. She's yours. Let's see how you guys drop it. You got one more? What's that end for you? <laughs> Anything else? Is that flash counter anyways? Uh, I just put it in the other way. <laughs> yep, drop it. Oh, I just moved it. Flush cut? Yeah. Uh, I saw it a minute ago. It's alright, come down and get drunk. Go on the table saw. Huh? Go on the table saw. Just gotta trim them around. No way it's 121. It's going to be over oh, 10 feet. Oh, dyslexic, I guess. Thank you, brother. <coughs> Wait, that's good. 211? 211, okay, let's, let's, let's <laughs> set this one aside. <laughs> A little different. Yeah. I was like, I'm telling you right now, there ain't no way that opening 10 feet. <laughs> Father always says they people say you got a warranty. He goes, well, if that don't work, bring it back. We'll try something different. Right. Twenty one both. Yep. You got it, buddy. Send oh, it. Oh no. Send it. It should be this. Send it. I got trim going. I got sheathing going. <laughs> Doobie, don't let him. Oh my God. It fits. Yeah, you might tingling right now. <laughs> Strong having it. You ready? Oh, yeah. oh, I'm spiraling. Fire chip. Yeah. 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 No. Oh. Joe? 
Out. You got eights over there, Sean? Board up in it. Yeah. You got one? I'll, as soon as I get a measurement, I'll see if I get one. It's going inside that trim, right? Yeah. Set staging up, we got a chance of killing a bird for a half an hour before it dies. Next time. Let's go right now. Let's go right now. Let's go right now. I'd like to take a ride while I'm up here for a minute. Well, that's up to you guys. I'm gonna ask Donnie. <laughs> So you got to knock off at 2 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Don't show up. We already had a limit. <laughs> I don't know what it looks like around the corner. Oh, oh, watch out that wall bracket. I don't know who's got all of it. I don't All right. All right, fellas. What a hell of a, another big, big giant day. It doesn't look as big as it did yesterday, but it sure is. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Did a lot accomplished on a lot of different angles, but the boss said we can kick off for we got a half hour to try to get a rough grouse. We're at the beginning of the season, you don't see as many. Been an awful tough spring on them, too, so there's not as many, but we'll go out looking for them anyway. But we got Donnie in tow, he yeah. looks pretty happy back there. He's sitting back there with Elon Musk. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah Elon and I are really close. Yeah. So here we go. I just realized I haven't eaten all day, so <laughs> I stopped at the Amish when I got the roof and picked up some peppers for the steak sandwiches and picked up some of this sharp cheddar buggy whip cheese they got right there. And it's not half bad, it's a little warm because I've been sitting in the truck all day, but <laughs> it's not bad to put on a cracker. Even even warm, it's not the worst thing. Donnie! What's that bird on the left right there? What's that bird on the right right there? They're all looking birdy right now, Stevie. <laughs> like rock bird? Yeah, you want a warm piece of cheese? Oh, I love it. Thank you. I don't know, is it still good, warm? <laughs> Tastes good to me. They're pretty sharp. Crackers if you want some too. Crack up. 